All right, what's up, guys? This is gonna be day fourteen. Um. So yeah, I mean we're vibing out today. Sleep was sleep was good. I went to bed like really late though. Um, I had a late night last night. I went to Universal Studios Four Nights. It was kind of lame, you know. It was. I mean, it was all right, obviously. I wouldn't say it was worth sixty bucks. Definitely not. I think put that money towards going to Six Flags. And their Halloween thing, I that was way scarier. So, there's that, right? But, um, the Universal had uh, people on stilts walking around, and they had like a plague doctor, like the crow, and he, that was cool, dude. That was that was seriously freaking cool. I might I might show like a little video on like one of the corners or something, just like of that. It was so sick. I I want to get a picture with him, but it, by the time we were walking out, by the time we saw him again, so yeah. Um, it was pretty fun. I mean, yeah. I don't think it was worth all the money, though. I think definitely, if you want to go more for more scarier experience, definitely go to Six Flags. Because I don't think... We were able to get in the Last of Us um, one, which maybe that's why. But we did go into the one that unmasked. Like, uh, Universal Monsters Unmasked or some crap like that, I think it was called. And those were... That was supposedly supposed to be the scariest one. So, who knows. I think Evil Dead Rise would have been, would have been pretty scary too, to be honest. And that was more of a, a walkthrough and the scare actor. I was like, ooh, yikes. But we didn't even see that one, so. Too many, too long of the lines. I think if you really want to do a lot of stuff, do the Express Pass. But if you're more of just like going there for fun, just, it's not worth the Express Pass. Anyways. Um, so sleep was good. Nutrition, I got kind of scared today because I, so I woke up I woke up at like 2 o'clock. I got, no, I got out of bed at 2 o'clock. Like, it was pretty late. one thirty. sorry, not 2 o'clock. But... You know, I did get my homework stuff, my reading notes. Not so all my reading, sorry. My notes and stuff. Also, my chem lab finally just finished that up. It took me five minutes, like, it was easy. Post lab, of course. Um, wa- hydration is feeling pretty good. I drank, like, five cups of liquid, three cups of water, two cups of milk. Oh, well, one and a half, including the cereal I had. I like cereal. Mm. Um, but yeah, we're feeling good. Nutrition's feeling nicely. Hydration, I feel hydrated. I feel so hydrated, I'm going to pee right after this. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're feeling good. Or not too bad. Obviously just tired in general, just from today. <sighs> but, so it should be fun. I mean, it's, gonna, it's arms, bro. I mean, what else do you want on a Friday, bro? Like, arms on a Friday? Are you kidding me? That's sick. Saturday's going to be legs, too. What is it? Sunday's going to be chest. I mean, it's perfect. Right. It is good. It is good. I I I didn't die to say that. It's gonna be good. Um. So about more about the lift. I'm definitely feeling. Obviously, gonna do some curls. I think. I think we'll we'll go back to those um single arm picture curls. I like those quite a bit. Um. And I I think yeah, I definitely do like um. My, my saying sorry someone came up with an email uh, oh actually today i was supposed to go to like a research thing at 10 i missed it i was talking about last night how i gotta get up a little bit early to go do that but i completely freaking forgot so i feel kind of bad it was a research but not my stuff's not gonna be used anyways once again so i'm feeling definitely some pigeon curls uh so i think i'm gonna i think today i'm gonna do my bicep curls a little later in the set just again, it's just a different thing, right? You're just doing at the start to go a lot of weight, but I think this time we're gonna go more on a focus of just that stretch, right? So I'm feeling um, that we're gonna do. Actually, we're gonna start with triceps first today. Okay, then we're gonna do biceps. So let's go for triceps real quick. Let me let me restart. Let's go. Let's go talk about triceps first. Okay, triceps again. We're gonna do those push downs just to like just to move that weight around. If there's space, I do the cashmere press um, right afterwards. I, I, I do want to show you guys that one. It was a movement that I used quite a bit. It, I think it's more of a strongman movement, definitely. Like, that it was is known for ca- the cashmere press. Is known, I think it's named it for a strongman, if I remember right. Um, but I do like it. It definitely did. I feel like it definitely does. If you do a might, you can definitely get a lot of stretching and a lot of activation of the tricep. I think it definitely helped me a little bit with my bench press. I, I was constantly doing them. But again, that could have just been having nutrition and doing 
just more heavy intensive workouts, right? Obviously. It's not gonna be done to one exercise. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm gonna do those again. It's just a different amount of movement, again, just to kind of shock the muscle, kind of quote unquote, bro science, to get some muscle, some different muscle, muscle fibers working, right? Um, so yeah, I think we'll do, do those afterwards. And then we'll just go on to the, the rope. And I think, I don't have a dip machine. I would want to do some dips, but you know, we don't have that. So maybe what well, we're going to do, how about we do four sets of the tricep push downs. We'll do two sets of the cashmere press, if there's space. Then we'll go on to rope pulls for like three, three sets. And then we'll go with like, I do wonder what else we could do. I don't want to do these. I don't like these ones too much. I don't like school crutches. They, I just, I don't like my my elbows. I like my elbows as they are. <laughs> um, maybe we'll just do some of these. These ones, the reverse grip, single arm press up push downs, pull down push downs, whatever. Yeah. I think those should be good for a nice little finisher. Okay, I mean that's it. So, push downs, catch me press, rope pull down, rope push downs, and then single arm push downs. Perfect reverse, yeah, whatever. Um, and then for the next one, again, we're just talking about it. I think we're gonna start off with four sets of. Oh my god, what was I talking about? Jesus, I was talking about something. I was talking about picture curls. I think we're gonna do four sets of. How about to start off to go a lot of weight? Four sets of cable bicep curls. Those are really good. Then maybe two sets of creature curls. Again, just more weight stuff. The more to be more squeezing movement, I think we'll hit them with go up to six sets, so three sets of just bicep curls. No supersets this time. Remember, just just so strict. I'm really gonna, we're gonna work on that control stuff. Then the last three, maybe just maybe we'll do a set of hammer curls. That I get, I don't like hammer curls. They don't give that too much activation. So I'm um, we'll see. Um, then maybe just some. I kind of want to avoid the... I kind of want to avoid the, the machine curl. I don't know. For those last two, we'll see what we're feeling, to be honest. We'll, we'll see. Cause I'm, not, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Maybe we'll try out a different movement. Like... Maybe we'll go back to those... Um, these ones and only... The ones with the rope flat pull down thing. I don't know. We'll see for the last two. We'll see what we're feeling, to be honest. I'm not too sure right now. Maybe we'll just do the machine bicep like usual. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the gym. It is currently 7.36. I'm going to go to the gym here. Get to college. So it'll be fun. All right. I'll see you guys. Wow. Well, it's a predicament we're in. So, I was on the impression, you know, Monday through Friday, you know, the, the, the gym here is open 9 a.m. to 9, right? Um, so I was under a misapprehension, obviously, right? Because God forbid, I think a week is consistent, right? God forbid. No, no, no. Today's hours are 9 to 5. It's a Friday. What kind of... What... I mean, what what, what, what kind of shit is that on, bro? 9 to 5? F- what is this? Is, is this a bit... Am I doing blue-collar work? White, what is it? White-collar work? 9 to 5 is, is it? That's crazy, bro. That's nuts. Not nine to five is bonkers. So, unfortunately, I can't really go anywhere else. Uh, I can't even do it. If it was chest day, I'd just sit here and do like a, a two hundred push-ups, right? It might be my chest day. I could call it that. But I don't have any equipment here for for triceps. Like, what am I gonna do? I can't even do any bicep curls. So, I guess tomorrow's gonna be <laughs> legs and arms. <laughs> Um, I mean, that's fine, whatever. This means twice as long as in the gym. Ugh. That's fine. Um, so, probably go around four. It's a weird hour to go to. It's a weird hour. So, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll do that. <laughs> so, I guess it's an unintentional rest day, guys. I'm kind of pissed about that. Nine to five? 
Bro, come on. I mean, okay. No, no. You know what's even worse? You know what the hours are for, for weekends? Five to nine. Bro, five to nine? Like, bro, all you need to do is have one person sit there. Like, you don't need to do a lot of stuff. You just got to let him sit there. Come on, bro. Shoot, I'll even do it. Damn. Freaking hire me. Shoot, maybe I'll do that. Maybe that'll be my job next time. God, bro. It makes me mad. Okay, anyways. You know the vibe. All right, and we're going to just talk down real quick. And I'll get out of your damn hair. You can go. I'm pissed about this. I did not want to take a rest day today, man. I was, I was so... I was excited for arms, bro. <sighs> Great, I'll be all anxious when I wake up tomorrow. Be all itching and shoot and shit. Great. I, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm not mad, but I'm just no. I am mad. You know, I'm kind of mad. <laughs> I'm frustrated. I mean, I'm just gonna do laundry instead. Then, whatever. <sighs> I was planning my whole day on this lift too. I was seriously so excited for this. God. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, I guess we'll just do legs and arms tomorrow, and you guys will get like an hour episode. <laughs> hour episode, I mean, hour like, whatever. Um, so, I am going to weigh myself uh, when I go to the shower right after I put my clothes in to dry, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And... I'll, I'm going to do some calculations on like how much weight I need to get rid of, right? Because obviously I've eaten a lot today, right? Uh, I, I've eaten a shit ton today, so I don't know my exact, I'm not going to have an exact amount of weight when I'm, my stomach is empty to be able to know like how much mass I've put on, obviously, in the past week, because you know, last time I weighed myself again, but I should get a nice little rough estimate of what I'm at right now if I, um, do some calculations. I was supposed to do it actually before I went to go eat. Because um, I, I had eaten in the morning. But I had done the calculations to make sure how many how many pounds I needed to like, take off. Which was two pounds from the weight, right? But now we're going to have to do quite a few more, obviously. Ah, that sucks. Okay. Well, I told you guys kind of about, like, okay. So I'm into my personal life. Vlog style. Um, I already told you guys about how what I'm doing today. Tomorrow, I'm going to... I guess there's no point in talking about tomorrow. I'll just no, I am. I'm gonna talk about tomorrow. My personal life stuff. So, again, with this um, thing, I haven't really been too consistent with using. I mean, I'm sorry. No, I've used it consistently, but some of the stuff I ha I've had to like push back another day or something, which I want to keep my Sundays kind of free. Can't really do it this time because I have an exam coming up on Tuesday. And I like to study three days in advance. So I'm gonna start studying tomorrow. Um, right now, good student here. Never studied like this in high school. So. Dude, I'm telling you, college is completely different. Like, it is. High school and college, like, the, listen to your teachers. They're not the same, right? They are not the same. Like, I would have never sat down three days before a test and legitimately studied for, like, three hours. I would have never done that, right? I would have never been doing that at all been doing that. That's not right. I've never, I would have never done that. Um, but see, here I am now. I'm studying. I'm not, like... I'm not dreading studying either. That's the thing. Like, I'm not dreading these tests, right? I feel confident enough to go in there and just do it. But although I am a weird test taker in the sense that I like to get it done as quickly as possible, which I guess there's some nuance to that and saying, oh, yeah, it's good. It's good to do that because, you know, the, usually the first answer in your head is the right one, right? Is what everyone's been telling me. I say everyone. Just live in my, my lab teachers and no, my professors and stuff. is like usually that one. That's the first. The first thing you think of is the first right answer, right? So, there's someone who wants to say that, oh, it's good to go, to go fast. But then there's also those who are going to say, you know, it's good to go slow because you can think through everything. Think through, really think it out. But it's like, eh. If I don't get it, I don't get it. If I get it, I get it, you know. But if I put the hours in, I should be put, able to put the hours on the paper, right? Kind of, kind of my mentality. Going into tests. I've always been like this, too, with, with um, math tests and stuff. I've always tried to get them done first. Especially now. Like, I don't. There's not a point to sitting there, right, and trying to get it done in a slow manner because now what I can do 
so I can just leave after I'm finished. So there's no in there's no indirect penalty, right, to getting your test done first and having to sit there for an hour, right? In in high school, usually. Is what, is what I'm thinking of, right? If you get your t- test on first there, they can't legally let you leave, right? So, it's like you have to sit there. Like, mm, what am I supposed to do for I can't even get on my phone because you don't let me. So, what the hell am I supposed to do there? Read? <laughs> That's for nerds, bro. <laughs> What's a book? Um. Anyways, right, I had to move some stuff down. Uh, especially yesterday, I had to move my notes and stuff down for, for anatomy and physiology today today and so therefore i need to move the next day again so everything's gonna get done saturday right my psychology lecture but again that one went together with notes that's and and physiology you know so like one in the same boat they're just basically just two note things i need to take on um so i'm gonna do them tomorrow get all that finished get all my psych psychology quizzes done my amp quiz and my amp homework quiz right just get that out of the way finished and then um so last time I studied for my exam, I went like uh, study guide one, study guide two, study guide three. But this time I'm going to do the opposite because the first one, like, this, this is how I, I did it. Um, this kind of forces me to also, if I don't do the study guides, right, until I wait till like three days. That's why I wait three days in advance, right, to start studying. Because each day I'm going to get a study guide finished, right? I can really focus on just that chapter, right, and really read in depth to it and stuff. So it forces me, not only do I get the information, um, during the lectures, not only do I get it from writing the notes, right, when I get back home, do a couple a day, I also get it from going back and reading through the notes, the slideshow, this is what I mean by notes, the slideshow, um, and I indirectly get some of that information from when I just read the actual book, granted, I read the book kind of quickly, because there's not a lot of stuff on there that's not on the slides, so, it goes more in depth and stuff, but that's not needed for these exams. Again, the slideshow, the exam is based off of the slideshow, right? So what's the point of reading the book? Well, it's to get a little bit more information. And you do get a sense of that. If I just really skim lightly, no, kind of heavily skim through it, right? Read in between the lines, you know the vibe. I um, hope you do at least. You better. Do your homework. Again, studying is just bicep curls for your fucking mind, bro. I'm telling you, dog. You see those little, like, um, those, uh, what do you want to call them? Not memes. Like the, the company art. God, I hate company art. That's, that's what makes me mad. The company art, like the, the, the brain doing, like, the, the curls with, like, skinny legs. It's like that, dude. Like, that's literally your brain when you're studying. It's literally working out. So, I guess I technically get another rest day, right? If I'm still doing stuff and doing notes, right? I'm still working out. You know, whatever. Still want to do my bicep curls. My tricep push downs to lose, you know, temp, to only use 10% of my brain to go, ooh, 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 and to press the, the record button on my phone and talk for two minutes and the rest I usually stay quiet, basically. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't have too much to talk about. I'm not too interesting. Anyways, back to this. Um, so, yeah. I, I mean, like, we just basically just, yeah. What, what am I saying? Oh, Sorry. So the last time the way I studied, right, was like study guide one, study guide two, study guide three. Each, each, it was for each, oh, I focused on it for one individual day. Well, now, because um, I, I didn't realize how I was going to study, right? I was, so now I'm thinking, I'm not even going to really do any study guides during lecture. I'm just going to listen. Is that a smart idea? Probably not, because I don't, you don't retain a lot of information when you're just listening, unless you're very, unless you're particular in that way, right? Like special in that way, but I guess you're special in that way. It definitely is a talent to be able to remember stuff you hear like that, right? But see, it's just a way of getting the information back, right? Because I'm already getting it in four different kind of ways, right? Lecture, talk like li- just listening through it, reading reading it, and writing it down, right? My notes, getting it from the book again, just more reading, not not notes, just reading. And then the fourth way is going to be my study guides. I'm looking through the book. I'm looking through the slideshow again. I'm putting down what I need, what I'm filling out the study guide as I go. So not only am I reading it, I'm writing it, and I'm also getting the information I need, right? It's all culminates to memorizing a lot, of, a lot of the stuff. And then the way I memorize stuff, again, is just go over it, over it, over it, over it again. Until you memorize it. So, I mean, it works for me. So, that's what I'm going to do this time again. 
again, last time, the reason I went to the one, two, three is because, and this, the, the, well, this time I'm doing the three, two, one, because the third study guide, I, I don't have anything written down. Second one, I have some stuff written down. The first one, I have it all written down. So in that sense, I can, I can study, sorry, spend less time on each study guide consecutively until that day before the test where I can really put, really start studying after finishing that study guide really quickly. Because I think I have some stuff I need to write down. I can just focus on all of the stuff at one time, right? And get all the information in. Bring all this information in, review everything again, and really be ready, right? Plus, another trick to taking these kind of exams, go in there early, dude. Go in, sit down, prepare yourself, bro. Like what I do since I take tests really, really um, fast, I'll just sit there and I just vibe out to some music, bro. I'm just like, psh, 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 psh. hey, get up and dance now. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, pull up. Break down the back door, Kunami, I hit a combo. It's a track, this ain't no chateau. You, you know, you get the vibe, bro. That kind of stuff. All right, go, spread go cross the block, spread go cross the block. You know, go in there like 30, 25 minutes, even even five minutes before the test. And just vibe out, bro. Just chill. Like, be all, bro, you're going to do good on this test. You know, get in there and be confident, bro. Be confident. So don't, don't be all, oh, no, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how good I'm going to do it. Man, screw that crap. You gotta do super good, bro. You gotta be you gotta be do it. Awesome, you're gonna do awesome on that damn test, bro. You smart. Like you got it. No issue. So look yeah, man. Just be just be confident with yourself. Alright? That's the most important part. Impart important part. Important part. My bad. It's genuinely the most important part, seriously. Like just be confident with your answers. If you're confident enough, oh yeah, you got you got that damn test. Are you kidding me? You study if you study even a little bit and you're confident with it, you got it. Are you kidding me? So, I mean, for example, the way I studied, I got 40 out of 50 on the last test. Uh, with the extra credit, I got 122.5 points out of 125. Granted, that sucker still dropped my grade down by three points. That's how close that margin was. It, it cranked me. I was at 100%. Sucker cranked me down to 97%. That, I was like, that's nuts. So, right? That's crazy. Um, so, I mean, yeah, man. Like, just be confident, bro. Brother, you'll get through everything. Shoot, you know you're smart. You don't need you don't need those to be honest. You don't need good grades in high school. They help, definitely. I would say if you're trying to get a good degree in, in a fast manner, take IB courses and AP. I took from an IB school enough to do history or English now. And I took a stats course over last last summer. My I guess senior summer technically in the mall. You would say summer after senior year. Yeah, that's how you would say it. I took a stats course there. I don't have to do statistics. I don't have to sit in a three-hour lecture every week, right? That's how long lecture is, bro. Are you kidding me? I got so lucky. And it was online. And I was in Mexico doing it when I was on vacation. My fa- was seeing, seeing my family over there, right? I got B-plus in that sucker. Are you kidding me? Like, you guys can do it, right? You can lift. You can have a really... You can even... Fu- you can do sports. You can be involved in school activities, right? And lift. You know, for me... I, um, this past year, right, I've really, really focused on just, um, what you might call it, like, structuring my life around lifting, which doesn't sound too good, right? Right, because it feels like I'm just focusing on lifting. Like, am I skipping school for lifting? No, I'm not, right? I'm still doing school. I'm still focusing my efforts, right? I want to be, like, in the medical field. I, I genu- I took a CNA program. I know I've talked about this a bit. I've taken a CNA program this past summer. I worked in the actual clinicals, right, with, in an old person's home. Um, a transitional care facility, which had acute care, short-term, and um, long-term care. Palliative, I think it's called. I want to say it's palliative care. But yeah, it's, it was really, I, I genuinely loved it. Like, I cannot say I didn't go in there any day and hated it. No, I loved it, right? It was, it was so much fun, and it was such a good experience. And it was also a test of whether, indirectly, I started to realize, it was also a test of, hey, is this for me? Do I like medicine? Do I, do I like taking care of people? Do I like specifically taking care of these patients who can't verbalize, right? Who don't know where they are sometimes, who are sometimes a little angry and frustrated, or maybe some who can only scream, right? Can I deal with that? And the answer was yes. I loved it. I loved 
dealing with these people, not dealing with them, sorry, taking care of these people. It was amazing. It was an amazing experience. And if anyone ever has like the chance and they're just, just kind of in between the fence of like, oh, I want to be in the healthcare, healthcare um, field, do a CNA program. Sorry, specifically nursing field, right? This is more for the nursing. But like, this is what, you're not going to be doing that specifically, but it's the bottom low, low tier of the jobs. It's like, can I even deal with this kind of stuff, right? Can I even be around it, rather? That's what I mean. But CNAs, they're amazing, dude. Like, health caregivers, oh, they're amazing. Uh, I will, now, as a nurse, I will never look down on them. I'll always see them as the front line because you are dealing with the patient directly. You are the first line to, to whether the nurse needs to go in there and check up on them, right? So, I'm not a CNA right now. I'm an NA. I'm a nursing assistant. A CNA is a certified nursing assistant, right? I'm taking my test in December, so we'll do good, I think. I just got to practice everything, go over it. Easy, easy stuff. Uh, anyways. Again, I am only 18, brother. I have a lot of experience, I think. I think it makes me a little bit more knowledgeable in these aspects. Am I the smartest? God, no. Am I a hard worker? I think I am. I, I think I am. Can I work harder? Of course, I mean, everybody could, right? No doubt about it. Um, yeah. Again, I mean, just to summarize, be proud of yourself, brother. Be be confident, bro. Like you got this. Like, I don't care if it's it's your senior year and you're missing a couple credits. Like you got this. Like even if you get a you know, finish off. Like okay, you didn't you didn't walk or whatever. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Like, school's not for everyone, right? But I'm telling you, get your credits finished. Get a GED. Go to community college. Or if you, if you, like, if you can't go to, yeah, if you can't go to normal college, go to community college. And if you can, if you can't go to either, get those grants, dude. Get those grants. Get those scholarships. Like, I know you can do it. There's a lot of scholarships you can sign up for, and they'll just, like, give you the money, right? Grants especially, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of grants, and there's a lot of money there on the table. You could probably find it. And you could talk to your counselor and stuff. Are some counselors better, some counselors better than other ones? Absolutely. If anything, get in contact with a college counselor. That would be the best part. Get a community college counselor. Get in contact with them. Easy. They'll help you out. They'll make sure you get to college. Um, but, again, like, you may think, oh, high school, this is, like, my peak. No, it's not. Like, it's not. I hate to see that shit. I've already, seen, I've already seen some people from my school starting to go back to school, high school and stuff, take pictures. It's kind of sad. I, go, I, am, I'm, I am putting a lot of people on the bus here, but it is kind of sad, right? It's like, come on, man. Go, go do something. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm speaking from as the mi- lower middle class, lower middle class family. So I'm not, I'm not super well off, but I'm well off, well off enough to not worry about food. Right, to not worry about where I'm going to sleep tonight, which I'm very, very lucky to have, right, obviously, uh, being born in that way, being born in that family. I'm very, very happy. I'm very grateful. So I cannot talk, I can't speak for a lot of people who are in a situation where they have to worry about that stuff, right, obviously. I can't speak for that. But, yeah, I really can't speak for them. So I don't have that experience. However, I have friends who are in that who in, who are in that and who are doing great. Like my friend Jesse, complete stoner and stuff, and he works in a in a what is it shipping and uh, taking doors and stuff. And he's happy as ever. He's awesome. He has a girlfriend now, a new girlfriend and stuff. My friend Victor, he doesn't. He's not going to college, but he's doing a trade. He's going to welding school. That's awesome. My friend Chris wants to go to community college, but he has a car. And what is he doing? He's working right now. Right, he's taking a gap year to go work and get a car and stuff. And although and I'm hoping that he definitely can go to college, but if he doesn't, that's okay. He doesn't need to. As long as he's happy, right? Like, as long as you're happy, obviously. This is the, the, most, important thought, the most important thing is as long as you're happy, right? It doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. My telegram? No. Um, but yeah. All right, so in summary, happiness is everything, brother. I know I've summarized like three times already. <laughs> Happiness is everything, right? If going to school is your thing, and that's it. If you if you if you're still unsure of college, just 
do community college for a little bit. Do it for half a year, a year. Or go to college and do it for a year. You, you might love it, dude. I didn't think, to be honest, I was on the fence about college. I didn't really tell anyone this, but I was on the fence about college. I didn't know what I, how, if I really wanted it, if I really wanted to go to college. But I'm here now, first week, first weekend, and I love it. Like, I cannot say anything. I'm genuinely happy. I'm happy in this, this environment. I, I'm putting everything on the table now. I'm working as hard as I can. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm sorry. This is like a 20, 22 minute rant. I'm sorry. Nobody's going to watch this shit. So it's all good. But, you know, thank you for watching. If you did, okay. If you skipped this far, thank you. Uh, and I'm still pissed and frustrated that the hell, like, why are you going to have, why, why are your hours nine to five gym, recreational center, whatever? Why? Nine to five? Bro, am I working a, a McDonald's job right now? Shoot, bro. Am I working with my dad again? No, I'm not. Like, come on. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> I did it on purpose. Don't worry. I promise I have something to say. In summary, have a good day. Have a good rest of your day. If you're this late at night, go the fuck to bed. Go to bed. Don't stay up. Not good. And like, yeah, vibe out, be happy, be confident. You know, if you're in high school, middle school, elementary school, half of these fools, elementary school, you might, no, no. I'm not specifically say for high school. Most of those fools that are around you, if you're getting bullied, you ain't never going to see them again, fool. You ain't never going to see them again. Like, <laughs> who cares? Like, I don't know. I went, I dressed up in a freaking maid outfit, bro. Like, I never, I'm never going to see these people again. Who cares? Who cares? Be yourself, brother. No, nothing, nothing bad can come of it. Nothing bad. So. Alright. Anyways. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Okay. Um, if it's the morning for you guys, have a good day. If it's nighttime and it's bedtime, go to bed. Um, if it's the middle of the day, Hope your day is either going well and keeps going well, or if it's going bad, I hope it gets better. You know? Alright. I'll see you guys. Bye.